Uh, he's going to take one more, and then I'm going to make an announcement. Uh, Aaron Cantero, please. <coughs> Welcome to uh, House Education, Mr. Cantero. Thank you. thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Representatives. This is actually my first time testifying in front of anyone in this manner. Um, I come to you as a civilian. Uh, you speak into the microphone. Okay. I'm getting you can't hear in the back. Thank okay. You. I come to you as a civilian and as a gun owner. That when I carry a firearm, I carry it for the protection of myself and for those around me. I I feel that the children in these schools districts should be protected, and that those who choose to carry a firearm should be allowed to go in any area in this state that as a properly trained and as a citizen of this state that we should police ourselves and each other that those who carry carry with the intent to protect not with the intent to harm uh, I, I soon I, I just recently got married and I want to have children in this state and I want my children to be safe I want them to feel comfortable in this state. I don't want them to be afraid of the tools of protection. I want them to understand that we are here to protect them and we are here to comfort them. We are not here to hurt them. I really wish that this bill would not be passed because it would make citizens who abide the law criminals for doing what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. Thank you very much. Mr. Cantor, thank you for being here and sharing your story and coming for the first time to participate in the legislative process. We appreciate that very much. Thank you very much. Are there questions of Mr. Cantor? Thank you again for being here. Thank you. Crook TV.